move now into asking for guidance for this week in alignment with our truth. What was our introductory message in alignment with our truth? And then any other guidance, practical advice and guidelines that we can tap into to be positive, to be faithful, to keep our faith, to stand in our truth. Yes. Thank you so much, Kenneth. Your heart goes out to those affected in South Africa. Love you and miss you guys a lot. Thank you for your message. So we have two major theme cards and then the King of Gabriel. So what's so amazing? Look at that. Double one strength and this message is so in alignment with the guidance we received earlier about truth because this card speaks about the strength within therefore the strength without so yes you are strong and yes you have shown that strength also, you can also receive that when you do not feel strong, don't pretend to be strong. When you don't feel you can keep your head up today or be positive, allow to move with the flow of that and ask for help. Share your thoughts with someone else. Forgive, move with compassion and kindness and grace towards yourself. So it's okay to not always be the strong one. As much as what you move with compassion and grace and kindness towards others, also allow yourself the moments to be truthful so that you can also receive compassion, kindness and grace grace so this strength refers to our inner strength and archangel ariel reminds us of our true nature our true abundant nature and our true nature is abundant our true nature is truth our true nature is strength and love and when you feel that you're a bit of an empty cup remember that you can always have a moment of refill. You can always have a moment of refill. Double one. There's always a new opportunity. There's always an opportunity to start again. There's always an opportunity to say, today is a new day. So it's calling us to not be too hard on others, to not be too hard on ourselves, to move with quiet strength and also to be truthful to our inner when we don't feel strong. And the message on the card says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. How beautiful is that? And as we said earlier, trust in your own truth, be confident and allow forgiveness um, to flood your soul this morning. It is so freeing and just move with grace and kindness. Look, there we have the beautiful lion energy, the bravery, the strength, Archangel Ariel of nature, of abundance, of resources. And if there's any resources that you need in this time, ask Archangel Ariel to be your guide and to assist you so that you may receive whatever you need for this week in career, in purpose, in household. Yes, remember to ask and remember it's okay to not always try and stand alone and be strong. Be in your truth. That is our theme. Our truth, our truth, that is our theme. And then we received the page of Gabriel. What I love, love, love about this image is that sense of adventure, 
that sense can you see how beautiful that one sparkles and indicates the light and indicates a way in the desert can you see that so when we receive this this is a calling if there is a new opportunity in your space if there is something that you would like to go and do that you have put off or procrastinated on this is a good week to go and do this is a message to say that it follow your passion remember at the beginning of this message we spoke about truth and be truthful about where you are and what you're doing this is it so look truthfully at your passions at where you are and what it is that you would like to do and you'll notice it's the page so it's still young you know very often when we follow a new path we want everything to work out and everything to just you know it's almost like you want it to flourish and be successful yes it's a young one it is still a page it's still growing so muster up all the love you have yes and move with that passion the message on the card says follow your passion you are ready for any challenge opportunities for excitement and adventure how beautiful is that and if there are no opportunities for you at the moment call them in speak about it speak to the people around you start speaking about what you really really want to do you know sometimes we speak way more about how stuck we are we speak way more about what is not happening than what is happening we speak way more about all the reasons why I am not able to do what I love, move with my passion, do something different. And even if you're not there yet, start speaking it more and more into your being, into your life. Speak out what you don't want, but definitely speak in more and more of what you want and speak to others and sometimes we bite our tongue and we don't want to speak it because we're just scared it doesn't happen and then we might look like a fool isn't that so so we rather keep it to ourselves so as to avoid disappointment we when we are in our truth we speak it we speak positively about it we speak it in faith we speak it in hope because you don't know someone else might hear it and have a contact there might be synchronicities happening and I think that is why our guidance for this week is truth 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 speak your truth be in your truth align more and more with your truth speak it over your life because there's things happening there's things moving things are changing and synchronicities miracles are all abound and so you have to tap into that by means of thought word and actions but if we don't think it in the first place how can it become evident if we don't think it in the first place how can it ever become evident so are your thoughts on it is possible or are your thoughts on it is impossible because that's where it starts and then our final card for the week the world with Archangel Michael how beautiful is that a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight <clears throat> so we can understand that more after a global pandemic can't we we can understand the process of spiritual growth a little more we can understand that maybe certain things have happened and certain things we let go of and certain things we came full circle to be back at this point and going forward we'll do it slightly differently what a beautiful blessed time it is and this card for me is always a reassurance to say that no matter what we are going through just if you just look at the image of the angelic force 
in front of the world. This card is always a reminder for me that we are safe and protected no matter what. No matter what change or challenge we go through, we are safe and protected. It may not always work out as what we thought of would have. Or sometimes it even works out and it feels above us. It feels bigger than us. It feels I'd never be able to carry this load. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. And somehow we always do. We always do. So let us focus our thoughts and our words and our intention on what is possible, what I am holding in faith, what is happening, what I can do and not what is not happening and what is not possible. Align with your truth. Stand up and speak your truth a little more and move closer to truthfully being on this planet. What you really want to be. How would you like to be? And even before we even talk about what is it that you would like to do, what is your passion or what is your purpose? Before that, how would you like to be? How would you like to be? Be that first. So let us align with our truth. Let us trust in our own truth. Trust ourselves a little more with grace and compassion and forgiveness. And then when we have to speak our truths to others, yes, then we will do so with the intention of love. Not to hurt, not to harm, not to anger, but purely just to stand in the light of our own truth. And then it's important that we detach from the outcome. Yes, because we all are on different paths. Yes, so not everyone will be in agreement with our truth, with your truth. Be strong, be confident, be Archangel Ariel with that grace, that true abundant nature, that beautiful nature spirit. Yes, thank you so much everybody for joining me and thank you for the conversation.